Hey guys, Manuel Sanchez here. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, so just a little over three and a half years ago, I got my real estate license. And even though it feels like forever with everything that's happened, uh, both professionally and personally, uh, I just wanted to put this video together and uh, kind of tell you since like diving deep into real estate life, I have changed so much. And I know it sounds dramatic, but it's, I mean, it's actually not that dramatic. Uh, when I decided to get my license, I had so many expectations when it came to real estate. I mean, I thought I was going to jump in and crush it and be this million dollar listing and then nothing. I, I hit a wall, I hit a wall really, really hard. And for me, it was a real wake up call. Um, in this business, I realized that you have to go above and beyond, burn the boats full time, all in type of thing. But doing this, I really, I really fell into it. I really enjoyed the whole process. So that's why today I wanted to go over how real estate changed me because um, I remember when I was uh, getting my license, I was looking for videos just like this one, kind of people who have been in the business for, for a couple of years now and have gone through all the motions. Um, is it really worth it? Um, and so real estate is not for everyone. Um, I, like I said, I love what I do and it's, I think it's super important for anyone thinking about getting into real estate to really realize how difficult this this career really is so it's got ups and downs um, but at the end of the day it's a it's a very uh, rewarding job or, or career and i love everything that i do so let's go over number one so the first way that i think real estate has changed me is it's now my identity it's uh it's a large part of who i am uh real estate has taken over uh, a lot in my life and i wouldn't change it uh, anything about it i wouldn't change anything the highs the lows uh, but it's funny now i run into friends and they call me by my instagram handle you know they're like hey sell with manuel and they always ask about the market and i just enjoy it so much every day i wake up and it's so much fun because um, in today's real estate uh, world is not just going out and selling houses. There is just so much more to it. Like doing these videos and, and marketing is, is, is a large, large part of my business. I mean, we I do consider myself a marketer who just so happens to sell real estate. And it's, it's a great way to have that the, the most amount of, of reach. And without uh, that and without social media, I probably would have quit. Uh, I think it's my identity now that the whole marketing real estate properties and myself and my team and what we do is just something I really, really enjoy. So the second way that uh, real estate has changed me has to be uh, time, my time, uh, my schedule. Uh, even though I'm not given a schedule by a manager and nobody's calling to see where I'm at or anything like that, I mean, we're business owners. And so I really, really respect my time and my client's time. And I'm extremely, extremely strict with my own schedule that I create. And what's great about real estate is that uh, everything is work. It's a relationship building business. And so if I'm meeting someone for coffee or editing a video or creating some sort of flyer to hand out, uh, doing open houses, it's all work. It's all different avenues to create more and more opportunities to potential, uh, to meet potential clients. And uh, it's, you know, job as a, as a, the number one job as a real estate agent that we have is to lead generate. So I think it's, it's just a lot, a lot of fun. Number three is I am just so much more social now. I, I used to be a quiet guy all through high school, just minding my own business. I would go to class and then go home, never really did sports. I was more of the, the drama guy, but um, I never hung around school and never really socialized with anyone. It was, it was hard for me to even keep a conversation going. And, um, not because uh, uh, it, it was hard in, in general, but it's one thing to keep a conversation going and it's another to actually enjoy a conversation. And one of the biggest things I learned since being an agent is how much I enjoy talking to people. Um, it's all about the, uh, the client, right? And, and, and asking them questions and getting to know them and it's just something I, I enjoy and I'm a lot more comfortable now. Uh, for me at least, to talk to people. I mean, I'm pretty sure getting older and becoming more sure of who I am has really helped out. But, uh, but just socializing with people and having a normal conversation, being able to relate to them and them to you, and just finding uh, topics apart from real estate to talk to them, uh, just, you know, that relationship building, um, I feel I'm just way, way better at, that, at it than I was before getting into real estate. Number four is I invest so much time and money in this business. Uh, it's crazy. I mean, like I said, we're, we're, we're business owners, but before real estate, I was selling high-end cars and working for Porsche and Lamborghini. 
And knowing what I know now, I feel I could have invested uh, uh, money when it came to, when I was selling cars. Um, it just, marketing costs money and marketing costs time. And I, I mean, as a realtor, you're your own business, which kind of forces you to invest in it. But now looking back, uh, at everything I would have invested in marketing myself as a Porsche salesman, uh, sent out postcards, started a car vlog or something, uh, you know, along those lines, I would just, I think in my opinion, I would have sold just so many more cars. And, um, you know, with, with, with investing money and time right now, I really, I'm way more aware of my finances too. Um, and I recently started a team. If you follow my blog, I've, I've recently started a team, which is a lot of fun, but now it's, it's also helping them. Uh, so it's, it's investing even more in, in, into my time. I, uh, I just put a, a, a huge billboard at the San Ysidro border where a hundred thousand people cross the line and all that stuff costs money, you know, buying cameras, lights, you know, gear, uh, flyering, um, postcards, all that costs money. And so I'm really aware of, of my finances now and getting into real estate did that for me. Um, before when I was, like I said, when I was selling cars, I would just go get a paycheck, you know, every two weeks you get paid. And don't get me wrong, it was fun working in the car business because I got to drive some crazy, crazy cars. And I've always been a, a, a fan of cars, which is why I kind of try to incorporate that in my vlog. But, um, but I don't know, I just, it, it's different now and, and I, have a, I have a family now. So, so really looking at finances, what goes into your business, what goes into your personal, what goes, you know, what will really give you the best return on investment is something that, uh, that I've learned. I don't just, you know, there's, when you get into real estate, you get dangled the, you know, the, the, the apple right in front of you and you kind of want to do everything. You feel like you're looking for that, you know, that silver bullet and it just doesn't exist. Um, I'm telling agents, if you're an agent, if you're looking to get into real estate, um, it just, the silver bullet doesn't exist. You have to really, really put in the work. Number five is I take care of my image. This one is one of the biggest changes I have done since becoming an agent. I used to not care uh, what I would post on Instagram, whether it was, a drunken night out with friends or post that I didn't really portray who I was. Now I think about everything I upload because my business card is essentially my social media profiles. And for me, reputation and image is everything. Even like going out to get a cup of coffee, I try and look more polished, I guess. And that could mean, you know, wearing sweatpants, but also doing my hair and splashing cologne. There's, I know, there's certain, there's a certain uh, uh, professionalism, professionalism that comes with being an agent and it looks kind of, kind of matter, looks matter. I mean, it's not so much in how good looking you are, but for sure in how you present yourself with others, if that makes any sense. Because, I mean, you just never know who you might run into. In this business, you don't know where your next deal is coming from. So you have to really, really be prepared to always look good, to, to always present well and take care of your image, but also, you know, kind of don't take yourself too serious. I mean, real estate is about connecting with people and relating to them. It's like a fine line between you and your clients. You can, you can't act like you're their best friend, but you can't be a machine of always keeping a professional guard up. You kind of have to be a little bit of both. You you relate to them, have fun, be their friend, but also you know kind of switch over and be I'm your realtor. I'm looking out for your best interest because I mean if you think about it, they're 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 purchasing um, the biggest asset. You know it's a big investment to buy a house. So there's a certain type of professionalism that you always have to keep um, when becoming a real estate agent. So that's it. I think uh, those are my top things that have changed me since becoming a realtor. And I wouldn't change any of it. Uh, I have had ups and downs, but that's real estate life. I really, I, I love it. So if you're thinking of getting into real estate, go for it. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise because it's a really rewarding career and it's, it's not an easy career. Don't think that if you get your real estate license, it's going to be easy, but I mean, I, I guess at the end of the day, nothing worth doing is, uh, is easy or else everyone would do it. But, but yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. And I, I really appreciate all you guys out there. If you're thinking about getting into real estate or new license, comment below, uh, reach out to me. I'd love to, to have a conversation with you. Um, also hit the like, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.